Okay, there are a few things in my makeup wardrobe that I will not compromise on, and I don't want a million choices in. I want one really good thing. I don't wanna to have to choose different shade every day, different whatever, whatever, whatever. I want one really good thing. And you might notice when you're looking at me that I look different. That's because I have no lips right now because I have no lip liner on because I'm gonna show you the lip liner that I was finally able to bring you and I'm so excited. This has taken well over a year. It is the Happily Ever After Long Wear Lip Liner. I absolutely love it. It is the perfect color. So I can use it with so many different colors if I wanna do lipstick or lip gloss or just wear it on its own. And that's what I do more days than not is I just wear it on its own. I like to chip my lip, cheat my lip line, as you see. Mm -hmm. I mean, my lips are not non-existent, but they're not, you know, sizable either. Um, so I like to cheat my lip line, but I don't want it to look harsh. I don't want it to look rough. I want it to look soft and pretty. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect lip liner. So. When you look at it, number one, color is really important. It has to be exactly the right color, not too blue, not too red, not too dark, not too light, so that it's kind of like your color of lip, but even a little bit more. And just the right color so that you can wear it with a lot of different colors, so you don't have to have a million colors of lip liner, and perfect to do not only around the edge, but all the way in. Now, I'm gonna try to do this in my phone, and it's a little challenging, so bear with me. Not only that, I don't have my readers on, so I can't even see what I'm doing in my phone right now. Okay, so, start right in the middle. Go to the edge. Now you can just do a little bit and make it a little lighter or make it, or do it a few more times and make it darker. But you can see what a difference. I really can't see, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then you're just gonna blend in, go down. And there's your lip. How gorgeous is that? Now underneath, so you can decide if you want to fill in more of this Cupid's bow to make your lip look more full in the center, or if you want to create more of a realistic lip line. Underneath, I go under. See the color ends before the under. I go under and then up. And then fill. And then blend. And you're good. I love this all by itself. I love it with any gloss. I love it with any balm. I love it with any lipstick. It just is one of the most beautiful, versatile, perfect colors. It goes on easily. You can, you know, you can apply a number of times if you want it to be darker. You can use a little bit of a lighter pressure for lighter, darker pressure for darker. It's going to last beautifully. <laughs> when I'm wearing a mask and I just wear my lip liner, it's amazing how well it stays in place. So it's taken over a year. It is well worth the wait. And trust me when I tell you, you don't need a whole wardrobe of lip liners. Mm-mm, girl, you just need one really good one.